The Seychelles is an idyllic paradise set of islands in the middle of the Indian Ocean. However, it's for paradise, there's now problems, an unprecedented crisis and an economy battered, of course, by COVID-19. As an island nation, it's done reasonably well in controlling the pandemic. It has a total of 166 coronavirus cases, according to Johns Hopkins University, and has a very rigid set of rules for those who are arriving. And when you look at pictures like this, well, you see what I mean. The Seychelles economy is hugely dependent on tourism. In a year when revenue from that industry has fallen off a cliff. It's a tough time to start a new political era, but that's what happened. For the first time since independence, the op and since a, uh, since, since, since a coup uh, back in the 1970s, the opposition has won a presidential election. The first time in more than 40 years. And that's where I started my conversation with President Ohavel Ramkalawan. The principle on which I work, on which I function, is belief. I, I, I went into politics believing that uh, Seychelles needed to, to go through this transition, through change. We needed to bring something that would reconcile our people, where there would be no political victimization and, and such things, where social justice would be the order of the day. So it's never been about uh, power. You're the first opposition leader to win since independence. This has never happened before. It's never happened. And aren't you tempted to go into the files to find out what happened 10 years ago, 20 years ago, the disputed elections? I can tell you, having been in the opposition for 30 years and having fought them, I already know what happened during the 30 years. And because I know, that's why I don't want to go back there. I do not want our people to go back there. I want the country to move forward. This is the only direction we have to move in. You've taken power in a pandemic, obviously. Yes. And like every leader who takes power in a pandemic uh, at this time of the year, all your policies, to a certain extent, are irrelevant because they are going to be subsumed by how you treat the pandemic. 75, 50 to 60 to 70 percent of the economy is tourism. Tourism is just about on its knees. What can you do? Well, but uh, this is why we do not have an option but to move forward. I am bringing together everybody who's participated, who, well, the, the real actors in the tourism industry. But we are also diversifying. This is why, for the first time, we have a minister for fisheries. He's not he hasn't got any other portfolio but fisheries. Because obviously, fisheries is the gold mine for Seychelles, and we've got to do sustainable exploitation. But at the same time, given that tourism is the, is the only well-established uh, industry. We also have to keep talking to the health department to find out how we can open up even, uh, even more. One of the biggest challenges you're going to have is where you position the country geopolitically. It's no, it's no secret that China is seeking as it has in Sri Lanka. You'll be familiar with the port project yes. in Sri Lanka that many say has sold the country to China for decades. Mauritius, from all the countries in the region. What about yourself? China is not interested in having a base here. India is not interested in having a base here. So it's very clear. Our sovereignty is sacred. There will never, under my watch, be a foreign military base in the Seychelles. Mr. President, uh, forgive the personal indulgence. Um, <clears throat> I got married two weeks ago to my male partner. Wearing the rings. Thank you. Congratulations. It would have been lovely to have done it on the beaches here. When are you going to change the law? Well, we've already started changing the laws. And uh, I would hope that the country will soon move away from the 
conservative attitude. I'm a liberal, Richard, and I respect everybody's position. As a liberal, human rights matter to me. That's the number one. But are you prepared to expend political capital, of which you have considerable, mm -hmm. towards a civil union initially and marriage equality ultimately? Well, this is, if, if I made my position clear during the elections and uh, they gave me 55%. So, let's start the debate. And my last question, will you know when it's time to go. You know what I say to, to the workers here at State House when I visited them? I said to them, look, we are all working here. And the time will come when we will no longer be working here. And uh, I want us, when we meet, after our time here, to say, hey, remember when we used to work at State House? So, this is the clear indication that I will go when my time is up. I've been elected to serve for five years. And if after those five years, I see that, uh, yes, there is still work to be done, I'll stand again for re-election and with the clear knowledge that 10 years is the maximum the president of Seychelles. It's also worth noting that the president is actually an ordained minister and was a minister for many years. He's a member of the cloth. And he actually said he would bless my wedding or my union uh, on the beach. So, good excuse to go back to, uh, to the Seychelles. <laughs> As if one needed an excuse or a reason to go to one of the most beautiful parts of the world. But now I've got another one for Chris and me to go there.